again, in this lesson, we're going to be talking about surface area. Specifically, we're going to start with the surface area of a triangular prism. So I'm here on the formula sheet that the PSSA provides, and we're going to look at the formula for the surface area of a triangular prism. So here's the formula. SA, or surface area, is equal to AH plus AW plus BW plus CW. So what does all that mean? There's a lot of different letters. So they gave us a picture to help us figure this out. So notice a triangular prism has a triangle as one of its faces. And so this triangle, the three sides are labeled A, B, and C. So that's where the A, B, and C come from. They're the three sides of your triangle. Now notice there does have to be something specific. A needs to be the side that is perpendicular to the height of that triangle that's facing you. And then the only other measurement that's remaining here is W, that's the width, that's the distance between the two triangles. Remember, there's a triangle face on the back of that that we can't see. Okay, so let's look at some examples. Okay, so we did the uh, example one, which is a rectangular prism in class. Let's look at number two here. All right, so remembering that formula, surface area equals AH plus AW plus BW plus CW. Of course, that will be given to you on any test or on the PSSA specifically. All right, let's start, plug let's start labeling our picture so that we know what is what. So I'm going to go ahead and find A first. Remember, A has to be perpendicular to the height. So the height is labeled right there, and maybe we can even label that technically first. So then A has got to be this edge here that's perpendicular. So they don't label it on the bottom there, but they label it up top here as the same side. So that's going to be our A. Okay, the other sides of the triangle are B here and C, and that doesn't matter which order they're in. Okay, so we've got A, B, C, and we labeled H there in the middle. The distance between the two triangles is W. So now it's time to plug things in. So, as we said, A is 5, H is 3.7, and then we're going to add 5 times W is 5, got a lot of 5's of here, plus B is 5 times W is 5, plus C is 4 times W is 5. Great. Now let's just start evaluating. 5 times 3.7, that's 15 plus 35, so that's 18.5, plus 25, plus 25, plus 20. Okay, so the surface area, okay, that's 50, 70, 78.5, uh, 88.5, 88.5, don't forget your units. So we have inches here, so we're talking area, so we've ended up squaring that, so inches squared is our surface area for that triangular prism. Now, uh, number three, you'll notice, uses triangles, but is not a triangular prism. It's technically not a PSSA topic. For number three, you're just going to have to go ahead and find the area of the pieces individually. So <clears throat> go ahead and treat each of the triangles as a separate triangle, and you really you can recognize that there's four of them. So find the area of one triangle, multiply it by four, and then you've got a square on the bottom to add it to that. Same thing here, another triangular pyramid. The thing I haven't shown yet is what to do with cases like number 10. Number 10 is a net of a triangular prism. So they've unfolded it, so to speak, and they've laid it down flat. And basically, we just have to go through piece by piece and find the, the area of each of these um, segments here. So um, they've labeled this here and this here as 3 and they've labeled this distance here as 7.4. So you'd find the area of that by multiplying base times height divided by two. And then we've got a rectangle here in the middle. All the rectangles, the three right here in the middle, are six meters in length. They have different uh, widths. So one is three, one's 7.4, and one's eight. So you just need to find the area of all these pieces. There's gonna be one, two, three, four, five pieces for the five faces of a triangular pr prism. So go ahead and find the areas of those segments. You can do the same thing here for the deconstructed a rectangular prism um, and the deconstructed uh, tri uh, square pyramid. And just find the area of each of those pieces, add them together, and you will have your surface area.